Hi everyone, what's up? It's Joshua here from Alternative Brewing. And today we're checking out GSI's lightweight Java Drip coffee filter. Well done to GSI for making such a cool product. This has to be the lightest coffee maker I've ever used before, and it weighs only 11 grams. It's a pour of a filter that takes saving on space to the next level. And rather having disposable filters, it uses its own reusable nylon mesh filter that's really fine and then keeps the grinds out of your cup that way. There are three legs that are secured to the filter and they are all you need to support this onto a cup or a decanter. It's going to make between one to four cups of hot coffee and it's about the same size filter as your standard two or four paper filter. So perhaps you're looking to go hiking or you want a coffee filter that's reusable and compact, then you can find them in the shop link up above here. So let's jump in now and check out how to brew using the ultralight Java drip. First, weigh the beans out, and I'm using 20 grams, which is around two and a half tablespoons of beans. And I have mine pre-weighed out into my grinder catcher already, and this is something that I would do, say if I was going on a hike, and this is to cut down having to take some scales. And grinding fresh beans always makes your coffee taste better. You wanna have a grind that's just a little bit finer than a medium grind, which is a nice pour over setting. Then add your grounds into the filter and with water just off the boil, add around twice as much water as you did coffee for the bloom. And we wait around 30 seconds here as this helps extract all the good flavors from the coffee as the water gets soaked up. And once that time has elapsed, begin adding the rest of your water in nice and slowly. So we're aiming for around 330 mils. And when we add the water, we wanna make sure we're doing it in nice slow circles from the inside out, making sure that we keep the grounds covered, but we're not filling it up too fast and it should take around three to four minutes to complete a full brew. Once that's finished, you'll notice it, there's no more water in the filter and it's stopped dripping through the bottom. And there you'll have it, a nice tasty hot pour over camping coffee to enjoy black, or you can add some milk to it too. Cleaning this dripper is pretty simple. You just need to invert the filter to remove any of the grinds, and then a nice good rinse of the filter will keep it in good shape. And that's the GSI Ultralight Java Drip Filter for you. Now this would be the ideal coffee brewer for somebody who likes to travel a lot, or if you just wanna keep a compact solution for brewing coffee at home. Again, it's the lightest filter I've ever used. It's pretty straightforward and simple to keep clean. So if you have any questions on this product, then throw them in the comment section down below and we'll get straight back to you. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon on your screen and that way you stay notified when we bring out new videos, just like this every week. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.